Hello Scorpio, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your money and career tarot reading. It will be from pretty much now till the end of May 2021 as I am releasing these a little bit early for the sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Let's get straight into your reading Scorpio and pull your overarching energy in money and career. So what do we have for Scorpio please? Angels, Spirits, Guides, Money and Career, May 2021, thank you. So let's pull the overarching energy. Oh, wow. Nine of Pentacles. I mean, that's a, you can't really get much better than that, I have to say. Um, very nice energy. Okay. <clears throat> what do we have for Scorpio, please? Angel Spirits Guides, Money and Career. Message for Scorpio in Money and Career only. Thank you. Yeah, oh my goodness, you know, fertility. Now the fertility card is very empress energy, not lacking for anything. You have everything that you need to sow the seeds of growth and abundance. Um, this is about planting new seeds, embracing new possibilities. The beginning of something new, the birth of something new. Very, very lovely energy. Okay. A message for Scorpio, please. Angels, what do we have for Scorpio, money and career? Thank you. You know, that's so lovely. So I have obstacles and blocks are lifted. All your good personal work and your positive energy shift have overcome previous obstacles and blocks are lifted away. You will now experience progress and forward movement with your projects. Stay centered in gratitude to ensure that your flow of abundance continues. And this is somebody who is in their flow of abundance, the nine of pentacles. It's an abundant energy. Okay, very nice. Let's pull some cards and see what we get Scorpio. Starting with your challenge. What do we have for Scorpio in money and career only? Thank you, angel spirits guides. Message for Scorpio in terms of money and career. May 2021, thank you. Okay, first card is the challenge. What do we have for Scorpio, thank you. Page of Swords. Two of Cups is what's going for you. Obstacles to overcome. We have the Chariot. Advice from Spirit. We have the Two of Swords. And the Ten of Wands is your outcome. Okay, Scorpio. I'm going to get an extra card for that Ten of Wands. Yeah. I have the Emperor. Okay, so we have the Page of Swords. It's in the challenge position. Some of you, I mean, this could be, there could have been some difficult news or information that you might have received here, you know, that you might have been dealing with here. Um, certainly that page of swords can indicate that in the challenge position. Um, yeah, it definitely feels that way, Scorpio, I have to say. But the pages is also very... It is also very open to new possibilities. So there's definitely an energy of some of you. I mean, you could have been dealing with some. It feels like some difficult news or information coming your way. But the message is be open to all possibilities. I do call the Page of Swords the Wind of Change card because how you perceive something can really bring change to your situation. And the message is obstacles are over overcome. It could be by the way you're seeing something. 
because the two of cups um, is a really nice energy this is what's going for you and I feel in this situation Scorpio I mean the two of cups in money and career readings can be an offer or an invitation from a like-minded individual somebody who you connect with somebody who you bond with so any conversations or communications that you have this month there's definitely an energy of you might be meeting somebody of influence who may well be key in offering you something you might be making some kind of important connection it feels that way very much because there is definitely an energy the obstacles to overcome you have had an obstacle the chariot appears when there has been an obstacle it is winning over a difficult path so there's definitely this energy of victory the determination the sheer force of will charging through any obstacles that stand in your way by taking the reins of your life and being in the, in the driver's seat there's definitely this energy of that will overcome any obstacle that stands in your way there's a message of eyes on the prize now towards victory and success so absolutely in this energy something to do with i feel for some of you someone of influence has something to offer you here um or is influential I feel in some kind of victory and it's a difficult path that you've been treading so the message is don't take your eyes off that you know and um, this is absolutely that razor sharp vision this is the goal I'm going for this is what I want I am charging in a direct line towards it and nothing is standing in my way and that chariot is the will to succeed and it, it represents success the advice from spirit i've got the two of swords yeah the two of swords is it can be about um weighing something up uh so it might well be for some of you you're weighing up your options here i'm also getting in this energy scorpio feeling stuck yeah yeah I've got the five of cups with this so the five of cups can represent loss regret looking back difficulty in moving on from disappointment feeling down you know and it definitely feels in this situation there are choices before you now and that's what spirit is telling you this that it is a card of of all is not lost it's mars in scorpio and we have mars right here with the emperor so i definitely see in this energy this is about you taking control of that which has controlled you again the way you look at something can keep you stuck or can actually allow you to claim some kind of victory and success but it definitely feels in this energy with this two of swords this isn't about this isn't about looking at what's gone that will only keep you stuck now is the time to really connect to your intuition from within and try and get clarity on seeing the way forward because there's definitely an energy of all is not lost in this situation uh, there's a victory here to be had so there's definitely this energy here Scorpio of trying to open your mind um, certainly with this energy that two of swords it just feels in this situation uh it can be some kind of decision that you need to make because you know i've got the fool with this as well which is all about a new beginning a new start taking a leap of faith um towards a new path here a new chapter for some of you is available but it feels in this situation where you're placing your focus will be will determine whether you move forward or remain stuck and that fool is the shiny new beginning it's a liberating energy as well liberating from whatever's gone before yeah because there's definitely an energy here of you know the emperor is 
it can be somebody in authority, you know, the Ten of Wands. It might well be somebody in authority you might be dealing with here. Um, the Ten of Wands is, it can be about burdens, but it can also be a lot of hard work. But I also see this Mars energy as you, Scorpio, somebody who has worked hard to be the empire builder, to be the person who represents power and success and authority and getting back on the throne of your own life. It feels for some of you that there has been a fall here. I, I sense that there has been some news that that was difficult to move on from. And this is about you taking control of the situation now. You absolutely stepping into the driver's seat because the Emperor is a card of success. Very, very good in terms of money, career, business, the Emperor, uh, because he makes it happen. Um, and the Ten of Wands is, it can be a card of burden, but it's also a card of exceptional hard work. Um, feeling overwhelmed, but there's a message that this, this person's back is bent, it's not broken. This has been a difficult time. You know, these burdens that you've been carrying, the work that you've been doing has been draining, most definitely. You have felt the test, you have felt the challenge, but that is about to end because the Ten of Wands is an ending. And there is definitely this energy of it could be somebody of influence with you this week who is bringing that to uh, this month, who is bringing that to an end. But I also see you being the emperor, taking control of the situation that might have controlled you for a period of time. Yeah. I'm going to pull one more with the emperor. Yeah, I mean, there's definitely an energy of put your energy in the right direction here. You'll reap what you sow. And there's also an energy of good things come to those that wait with the Seven of Pentacles. It's perseverance. Um, so there's definitely this energy of, yeah, it's a hard path. You've, you've been on a hard path. You've been on a difficult journey here. You know, but there's karmic rewards. You know, this can also be to do with legal situations, government institutions, but I'm really feeling more the energy of read what you sow with this Scorpio. Uh, what you put your energy and effort into is how you're going to reap the rewards and be back on that throne like the Emperor. Because there's definitely this energy of the Nine of Pentacles, which is your overarching energy, which is a card of material success. Um, somebody who has worked exceptionally hard, used their practical talents and abilities to deliver success and um, abundance, financial security, stability, getting where you want to be. And I definitely see in this energy, it feels for some of you, there is some success. I feel for some of you, you know, that this fertility, the birth of something new, again, it could be to do with, you know, new jobs, it could well be to do with some partnership that you might be offered. Um, but it definitely feels in this energy, there is the money, there is the reward of all the hard work coming your way. The Seven of Pentacles is a card of perseverance. Keep going because you'll reap what you sow. You'll reap what you sow. And that's what the message is here. So just when you think it's never gonna happen, just when you falter and feel at that impasse where there's no progress, there is definitely an energy of hold your course. Because for some of you, you are overcoming that challenge, the obstacle on a challenging path. And I definitely feel for some of you, there's definitely somebody of influence this month who is responsible for you, who is influential in this success, the Nine of Pentacles. Obstacles and blocks are being lifted, Scorpio. And I definitely get with this fertility, the birth of something new. So it feels very, very good. And again, the fool is just re-emphasizing that the new, the new path, the new beginning, the new chapter. All is not lost. So don't let 
whatever's whatever challenge that you've been facing yeah just cloud your judgment because this is about staying focused on the eyes on the prize towards the victory and that's when the victory can happen okay so i'm going to pull a final card final message for scorpio please in terms of money and career thank you We have polar bear nurture. Allow any anxieties and worries to be gently released and offered up to be healed. Very nice energy, Scorpio. I'm going to pull you one more. Yeah, you see, the eagle is all about the big picture. And the eagle is has that raise the sharp focus. And this is definitely the energy that I keep on getting in this reading. Certainly with that page of swords in the challenge position and the two of swords, again, in the advice from spirit. So this is about a step back, get perspective this month, stay focused on the target like the eagle does. So we have ancestral healing. Your ancestors are holding space for you to heal the past. Very nice. And I feel to move on from the past towards this new beginning, which I'm definitely feeling is linked to this nine of pentacles. So I hope you enjoyed the reading, Scorpio. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you and I will see you next time. Thank you.